Hi everyone, Daily Crafted here. I am planning on testing these metallic, uh, DeWitt metallic watercolor pencils. And it is a 12 pack and these can be found on Amazon. I'll put the link below. And they recommend using these on black paper, but I did wanna try them on something else. So I did purchase the black paper, but I won't be drawing with it today. Uh, what I wanted to do was try it with my one of my coloring books. So I'll just move that off to the side. This is a six by eight Strathford, Strathmore mixed media paper, and it is a 184 pound weight. So the paper itself is very heavy, like a heavy card stock. So just to let you know that. And so I'll go ahead and move these up here. But like I said, there are 12 colors in here. And I'll just put that there so you can reference those items if you are interested in them. And I do have my watercolor water brushes here. So what I wanted to do was try them within my, um, okay, I am gonna have to move these up. <laughs> I wanted to try them within my um, color, my sketchbook Wild 2. And let's see here, still gotta move those up. And I do have my dollar store cutting mat that I use as a protective divider to make sure because the pages in this book aren't super thick and so I'm just going to use it as, as a divider. I had a picture picked out and now I lost it. Let me find it again here of the one I wanted to do. Okay, it was that one. Okay, and I'm using the shiny side up here. There's a little bit, well, that's, that's flat enough. We'll go ahead and just try it with that. But either way, it's gonna protect this page while I'm trying to color. And this is, this just justifies one of the reasons that I love spiral bound is because I'm <laughs> struggling a little bit to get this flat. I wish that I wish that every coloring book was spiral bound <laughs> but it's all good so I'll keep those handy the water brush is handy and I just kind of keep them tilted but this is a three pack from DeWitt um, of the water brushes so as far as the colors in this before we start there are like I said 12 different colors and there's pink there's purple bronze, silver, pewter, yellow, blue, green, antique gold, copper, red, and gold. So those are the 12 colors that I got in this pack and let's just see how they work out. Um, so I'm just gonna, this is, it looks like more like a moth, but, um, but I'm going to go ahead and just start with the flowers with the, let's see here, with the red and the pink. Let's see how those work out. So I'll start first with the pink and they do have the numbers on the pencil as well. And once again, I do apologize for my nails. I haven't done them yet since I've been cleaning around here. But I'm just gonna go ahead and start with, and I believe I said it in the beginning, these are watercolor metallics. So I'm just starting with a light layer of 
the pink here and then we'll apply the water and see what happens this is my first time trying these And I wanted to see how they did on the grayscale because I do have quite a few butterflies in the pictures and I would love it if they had just that little extra sheen. In the picture. So I'm really excited to share this with you and see for myself. Uh, how they work out. I do apologize for the silence here. I'm just trying to concentrate. Sometimes that's a challenge for me, but... <laughs> okay, so I have a light wash. or I just lightly try to just color in a bit of that so let's see how this works out I'm still not sure of so what I'm using is I'm using the Derwent number three brush water brush and it has a little bit of stain on it from the previous project but it seems like um, It seems like it's not going to transfer so and I did forget to bring my paper towel up here but okay so I'm just making sure that this is damp just do this light wash and once again that color was pink this is looking pinkish purple very pretty and with the thinner paper, I'm trying to keep a minimum amount of water on it because I don't want to warp it too much. Hopefully it doesn't warp too much. Okay. I'm just trying to keep that. Now I'm not seeing a whole lot of the metallic come out yet. Maybe it maybe it'll show up a little bit more when it dries. But yeah, the paper is warping a little bit here. So I don't want to ruin the tooth of the paper. And usually Probably take this page out and um, tape it down to make sure it stays flat, but that's fine. Okay, so we'll let that dry, and then I'll probably take the red to it. So I'm just kind of tilting up what I'm using here. We'll take the red to it for maybe a little more depth and highlights in this flower if it dries within time. So I do have the green here and just start working on this stem. And I'm gonna actually put a little more pressure for the stem just to be sure that I have the depth that I want an intensity of the stem itself. Okay. Put that right here. I could have started with the yellow on that, but I'm just going to keep it at the green so that way I have the, like I said, the intensity that I want. Okay, so with the Derwent number two, I think personally that's uh, 
number two uh, water brush I think that's a little too thick for the stem area so I'm going to move on to the Derwent number one size water brush and then I'm just going to check it on my finger here and just give that a little bit of water to make the color pop more I totally got out of the side of the line there but who colors in the lines anyway so I think that shows up better there I'm just going to use my hand as a paper towel kind of neck right now <laughs> okay and so that's one flower and that's just kind of tapping it really lightly now I'm not seeing a lot of metallic look here I'm just trying to take a peek I mean it looks pretty decent but <clears throat> I'm not seeing a lot of the metallic look and this is still damp so I'm not going to try to layer any colors on it I want it to be completely dry and I don't have a hair dryer or anything like that because I think it'd be too noisy to the video so we'll just let it dry maybe what we'll do is we'll use the red over here on a different flower then um, flowers can be different colors so let's see here okay with this one what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press a little bit harder and put more color into it initially and see if that helps with the bringing the metallic out in this from this pencil so okay so I'm going to do a little bit of what's called burnishing. So I'm really putting a good amount of pressure on this pencil. I think I had too much coffee this morning. I am really just like shaky, it seems like. My hands are really kind of shaky today from too much caffeine. But it's all good. And I'm glad I did put the the cutting mat underneath of here because I'm I'm pre pressing a little bit hard and with the water uh, brush application that may have gone through a little bit once again the pages are a little bit thin so and so as far as the picture underneath which is the lions that I absolutely love. They're absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely. So. <laughs> I really like having the watercolor in the pencil forms. I am still trying to find the ink tints in the turtle, <laughs> this sea turtle tin. Sorry, I had to adjust there for a moment. I'm really, <clears throat> excuse me, I really would love to find the ink tints in the sea turtle tin, but I don't want to order it online because um, each time I have, I don't get the correct tin. I've made a couple of tents, uh, attempts to get the to get the tin, and um, it seems like the sellers only have that other tin that doesn't have the turtle on it. So I'm actually gonna have, actually, actually again, I'm gonna have to find a store that carries the ink tints and make sure that I get the correct tin. It's, a, it's like a project for me now. 
to find the 10, which is kind of funny. So, okay. So I pretty, put a pretty good layer, um, pretty decent sized layer of the red 87 is the number on it. And once again, I'll go ahead and utilize the Correction. I'll go ahead and utilize the <laughs> brush size, water brush size number three, and cross our fingers and see if this shows up a little bit more. So they did recommend that you use the black paper for these, but. Wow, look at the color pop though. Oh my goodness. And I don't, I'm trying to avoid brush lines, so. And it does look a little bit granuly over here with the lighter coating. It seems to look less granule from where I colored it in. It seems to look less granuly where I colored it in, a little bit heavier. But once again, I'm not seeing a whole lot of metallic look and I do have my glasses on, so I'm not sure if it's just my eyes or The red is really looking good though. I'm looking at it on the monitor here real quick. And the red with the, like I said, the heavier layer is looking really good. A little bit granularly, but very, very minimal as far as granule, granule look from what I can see from here. Oh, I just boo-booed right there. Okay, once again, I don't want to waterlog my paper. So I'm just, the metallic I can keep, see, maybe it's just me, but on my skin, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> okay. All right, and we'll go back to the green and we'll go ahead and do this stem as well. I'm trying to see if there's really any metallic look to that. I'm not really seeing that. grabbed the wrong one. Look at me ahead of myself. I'm thinking about doing the blue because the blue seems like it might look really pretty. On the moth area. Okay, that was really heavy with water. I should have dabbed that some more. So I, I'm going to try the blue in the wings here. And I'm just going to color all over.
to see how it turns out. I'm putting about a medium amount of pressure here. I want to make sure that I don't stick my hand too much in that flower. Could have grabbed another piece of paper or something, but I'll just try to avoid it. So you don't have to wait for me to grab the paper. I'm just going to do this whole side as blue. Go ahead and do this underwing as well. This, it's like a little extra wing here or something. I'm not really sure what that is called. Okay, so I'm just going over that again. I told y'all I have the shakes from the caffeine. Okay, so let's see how this does. My apologies, I'm having to adjust here. My foot's going to sleep. <laughs> All right, okay, so I'm going to grab the number three again. The number three water brush and just check it. Okay. Let's see how this blue looks. Wow, that really pops when you add the water. I said I'm still looking for the metallic of it, but maybe it has to dry more. I'm not really sure. Like I said, they did suggest to really see the metallic. I think I used black paper. I got outside the lines again, but I'll try to fix that if I do the background here sometime. Not sure if I'll do it in this video or if I'll just finish it up on my own, but I do like using the watercolor pencils instead of markers um, at this point right now because I don't have to worry about if I don't use them enough they won't dry out on me. Okay. Trying not to soak the paper here. but. This paper may be a little bit too thin for this method. I'm not really sure. All you can do is try, right? Okay, I'm gonna take a peek in the monitor. The blue color is very intense from what it looks like in the monitor there. Okay. 
let's just check to see how it's doing on the back looks like there's a little bit bleeding through on the back so once again it's good that we have this dollar store shop chopping mat to protect the lion picture underneath and I don't want to don't want to fold this over because it's still drying don't want it to transfer on the back of the other thing so okay once again I'm just trying to make sure my brush is clean enough if I want to move on to a different color okay there we go or clean enough <laughs> silly uh, let's see here all right let's try the yellow I'm gonna let this dry this is still a little bit damp but once again I'm not seeing a whole lot of the metallic look let's try the yellow up here in the upper part of the stem utilize this one just make sure it's a little bit damp but not not dripping okay that should be good okay so the yellow metallic listed here looks more like a light green, lighter green. Just testing this flower again okay so once again I'm not really seeing the metallic come out on this paper but yet again in all fairness they did recommend a black paper so while this is drying and I may just continue this on my own to complete the picture I'm gonna set this off to the side and pull out and hopefully that doesn't fall off the table here Let's see I'll just see if that will hold it there mm. we will try we'll just do a test with the black paper here kind of holding on to this oh by the way this says spread your creature wings or spread your creative wings and let art bloom it's a nice saying and appropriate for our little channel here so okay so what I'll do is I'll go through these and just do swatches on this black paper Of these metallics and see if maybe they'll show up some more you know we've got coloring books I'm, I don't recall ever seeing coloring books with like a black paper I do have one picture 
that has wolves howling. Let's see here. That has wolves howling in a black background. Let's see here. I'm not sure if it's this book. I mean, this has a black black background that I might be able to use these on if they're they show up better on the black. Let's see here. Okay. This is not the one that has the wolves with the black background. But like I said, I might be able to use the metallics on that one. So we'll just see here. All right, guys, we all stay up there. Stay there. <laughs> I'm talking to my paper here. All right, so what we'll do is once again, we'll start with the pink. And I'm pr pressing pretty hard. And we'll see how that does with the metallic. So this is a multimedia paper, once again. Okay. And we'll let that dry. I'm just gonna blow on it, so if you hear a strange sound, that's me. Oh, I'll just keep this open. And I'm gonna go through and try to, that was purple. Okay, I'll just try the purple here. And I still can't see the metallic here, even though it's drying more. And I might have thinned out the pink a little too much. I'm not really sure. Okay. And bronze. So while we're letting everything dry. Make sure I got the purple off of there. Just transfer it on my hands here. Trying to get that wet enough. So, and let's go with the silver. I have enough water. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I mean, the lighter colors are showing up better, but I'm gonna try something here real quick. Okay. Because these other colors, I'm not sure. I'm not seeing a whole lot of metallic look of what I would expect from these once they are painted over. Once I first do the initial coloring portion of it. It's looking metallic. This is silver. 
right now. I can see the metallic part or the, a little bit of the metallic reflection in it on here. And so that's a bigger swatch. This is just the smaller one that I, you know, I uh, got a little heavy handed on it and it pretty much disappeared. So I'm just going to try it, I'm trying to give this a fair shake. So I'll try right here. Of course, I put some water lines in it by doing that, but it almost seems like it's less metallic. And that, can you see my water lines and how it kind of disappeared? And I did not have a ton, ton of water. I just had a decent amount of water on there. But it, as far as the metallic, See how it almost like disappeared once I added water. So I'm going to try to do a color over it. For instance, the red. This is, or no, this is the pink. My apologies. Blowing the, just blowing the little crumbles off here. Okay, so I have a little bit of the pink on there. So I'm not sure if there's a specific approach that you need to take with utilizing these, but let me just test this again. Okay. I'm going to just like allow a little bit more water and just put a line right through it. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's like it becomes less me metallic when you actually add the water. And once again, these are definitely meant to be utilized. You see that little brush right there? That means it's a watercolor pencil. So, hmm, all righty. Let's try that blue. Now I'm putting a good amount of pressure. I'm I'm burnishing here with a heavy amount of pressure on this. Let me show you the before. It's got the decent amount of the metallic look to it. And then I will just make sure I don't have any silver on my hands. Just gonna go through. Okay. So once again, it seems like it's better. I do like using watercolor pencils dry and not adding water, but um, which make these a keeper for me. But I, am, I would say as far as my personal preference, I would just use them for myself as dry so that I could definitely get that metallic sheen that you're seeing on both of these so I could keep that metallic sheen now see it came off on my, the blue came off and it's a little bit metallic on my hands 
I don't know if you could see that. A little bit of metallic look on my hands, but um, yeah, as far as utilizing these, like I said, I like using watercolor pencils as dry. I'll probably just use them as dry because adding the water seems to knock down the metallic, what little bit of metallic that you can see. And um, with my picture here, with watering them down, I don't see any of the um, any of the metallic in it, and I think that's pretty dry. That I can go over this flower a little bit more and kind of burnish it a little bit. And I love the Derwent products. Uh, this one, like I said, I, I'm not, I'm a, a bit disappointed that it's not as, I don't know, beginner artist user friendly maybe. I'm not sure of what the situation is of why, um, why I'm not necessarily getting the effects but this is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And like I said, I will keep these just to be sure. Maybe I need to let them dry and do a few layers of each color. Um, let's see. I'm not sure. So it went a little metallic there again. I'm just gonna use the same color. This is this card is just gonna be a tester card anyway. So okay. And so with this, I'm just trying to see if I actually got a little bit more of the, pull that out from there. A little bit of the, I got, see how I got more of the metallic look with using it as dry, even in this picture. A little bit more reflection. And I do have an overhead light on and a light over here as well. But, uh, but yeah, so it'll work out good for the butterflies if I, or any butterfly portion in here when I use it as dry. So it's not a total loss, in my opinion. They can still be utilized dry very well. They are very smooth uh, to use as dry. And if you want that little pop of metallic, I would say that, that using them as the dry is better. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say that, but. <laughs> I'll just finish up this flower here. We're going a little bit heavier. And burnish. I'm, once again, I'm doing the burnish. So that little pop of metallic, like I said, if you would like that in your your pictures whether it be a coloring book or just drawing picture uh, I see that as me personally with this trial with you being a pretty good option to do that so that is the first impressions of the Derwent metallic and if, if there's any suggestions as far as how to utilize these, if you use them, and there are other suggestions on how to utilize these that the metallic will show up after the water is added, please, please let me know. And I uh, look forward to using these in the different multiple 
like I said, as and like the dragonfly, probably use them as dry on on him or her as well. And yeah, so like I said, it's not a total loss, even though after adding the water, it's not metallic. And I don't know how many times I'm going to say that, but all right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this review of the Derwent Metallic 12s or 12 pack and have a great day. Bye.